Hello everyone, let's uh, check today the um, Samba Options panel. So from your dashboard click on Samba Options and um, you should uh, see 10 tabs. Uh, if you activate WooCommerce you see an extra tab here with some options. But for now it's off. So let's start by the General tab. And um, you have here some important options just to just for starters and um, the first thing is uh, if you want the website to be responsive or not and um, after that there's here um, an important option which is the, the one that allows you to have your menu always collapsed eventually so you have here this option that's, that's uh, the minimum content width before the menu collapses so basically if you set here uh, something like 10,000 pixels this means that for screens with less than 10,000 pixels, the menu will be collapsed. So obviously this will make uh, the menu always collapsed on, uh, on the current screens. So when we refresh our page, um, our menu will be collapsed. Here it is. Um, so basically that's what this option does and uh, you obviously can still open the menu and uh, close it again so that's what this option is for and uh, you have here also uh, another option which is the maximum content width um, this is referring to how much you want this center area to stretch um, because uh, this video is limited in, uh, the, in width I'm going to set up here just a, a small value so that you can see what's going on so I'm going to say that my content width can only have 400 pixels and when I refresh my my, my page, um, it's obviously looking weird. But uh, basically, that's what this uh, this option does. It limits this center area size. Um, so I'm going to put it where it, like it was before. And um, you have here another important option, which is to decide if you want the pages to be loading using Ajax calls. Um, well, I, I recommend you to do this to keep the, uh, the website running smoothly and uh, faster because with this option on, uh, after you load the first page, all these pages, uh, you are just loading the content and not the um, CSS files or, or other stuff that's not necessary to be always reloading. So, but um, if for some reason you don't like this, um, you can say that no, you don't want this and when you save the options. So I'm going to refresh the page and uh, now when I click on uh, a button here on the menu or any image you'll see that the menu will disappear and appear because the, the whole page is reloading so if you prefer it like this uh, you still have this option uh, but uh, like I told you I, I prefer it like this it's a smoother experience and uh, everything is, is much faster um, you can set up a, a background pattern for the website you can decide the background color too here uh, you can choose uh, the fonts that are going to be used across the theme. There's a headings font and a body font. You have here, I think it's around um, 60 different fonts, but um, I, developed a, I developed a plugin that allows you to add unlimited fonts to the, um, to the theme. So it's a free plugin and you on the documentation you'll find a link if you need to add more and more fonts. Um, still on the fonts uh, thing, uh, you have an option to uppercase some, some titles if you want the theme to do this automatically. So I'm going to just to show you that some of these titles will be uppercased in this case because um, that option is, is on. Um, it's still something that you can do without this option but this will just um, make this process automatic. There's also here the um, the option to use or not the special colors for posts and pages. Uh, I'll be making a video about how to do, manage these colors, uh, but you can turn it up here if you want. But um, for now, it's uh, everything is, is blue because I haven't uh, set up these special colors, so it's the same saying yes or no. But like I told you on another video, I'll cover this um, this whole color thing. Um, now you have here. Um, um, number of um, color pickers for, for the body active uh, color for the text color well you have here color pickers pixels for for many things and um, 
it's just a matter of testing things and uh, for borders, for lines, uh, for buttons, also shadow for for uh, the um, around the images and sliders. So there's a lot of stuff here to to test, but these are just color pickers, picks, sorry pickers. So I'm not going to to test them all. Also the sidebars. Uh, the theme has two sidebars, one here and uh, another here that's empty and you can turn them on or off here. Um, so we have also the branding tab which is basically where you just upload your logo images. Um, there's two logos used across the, um, the whole theme. There's this normal logo which is used here and also here on, on really small screens and there's also this second logo or vertical logo which you upload here too so uh, you can do everything all, all of those things here and um, you also have here if you want uh, to use um, special logos for retina displays you can also place them here on these two fields also your favarcon image um, which is this image that will be shown here there's also the menu bar tab and um, you have this um, this um, 3D option. It's the first option. The, um, it's the the effect that the theme displays when uh, the menu opens or closes. So basically, at this moment, the 3D option is is on, and you can turn it off here. Let's save and uh, let's refresh our page. And now you just have the menu sliding in and out so that's what this uh, option is for also on older browsers that don't support these 3d effects they will uh, automatically use this uh, slide in and out uh, option um, you you have also here i'm not going through all of this but you have here all the colors that are used on the left bar and also on that footer underneath uh, you can manage them all here um, sorry, uh, the, the, the footer, uh, this is only for, for the left bar and the menu and the, the footer, you have here the, um, the colors and also this copyright text that you see here uh, below. Um, as far as the options for the blog, you can decide um, the, the, ar the archives uh, template. Um, you can also choose if you want to force the images to have the same height. This is only for the classic blog pages, uh, which are the which is this type of page. Page, sorry. And um, you also have here more options. I'm not once again. I'm not going through all of them, but it's basically just turning on and off information that you can decide to show or not um, on the related with the blog. And you also. I uh, have the social social sharing um, buttons. You can turn them on or off here. This, these buttons are the ones you see here on on top. Uh, currently, it's taking a bit longer than usual to load them, but it's because I'm I'm uploading some some stuff to the internet at this moment. Uh, so similar to the blog, you have also here a bunch of options on the portfolio. Um, they are similar to the to the blog options and um, most of them or, or a large number of them can also be overridden for single pages basically these are just default options in some cases and you can uh, uh, on specific pages um, tweak them in the way that you that you find that's more useful um, as far as the contact tab um, you have here let's go to the page uh, there's a, there's obviously the option for the Google Maps um, code um, and also this uh, all this information that you see here on the right side um, you can put it put it all here and it's very easy also the um, the, um, the form there's there's this new option I, I added uh, if you want to use for instance the contact form plugin instead of this form some people usually or ask me a lot of times for the capture for, for anti-spam prevention so I suggest you install the contact form 7 plugin and then simply just paste the, his shortcode here and um, 
instead of this form you'll see that uh, that other form um, so as far as the contact page everything is here and um, about the translations uh, if you are going to use only a single language and uh, I, I think the easiest way to translate everything is just saying that you don't want to translate using .mo files or the WPML plugin just say no and the, the theme will use all of these translations that are here so you should find all the strings that are used across the theme on this uh, same tab this will work perfectly once again if you are if you only need one uh, one language if you need multiple languages then you you have to turn on this option and do the regular um, the regular translation using those mo files or the wpml plugin the theme is compatible with them so you should not have any problem um, finally uh, you have uh, two more tabs one is the custom scripts tab you can place your analytics code here you can also add some custom CSS here and some custom JavaScript if you want this is these are more advanced tabs and finally if you need to change the slugs which is the, um, the parts of the URL that, that are going to be seen by the user you can change them all here um, for the portfolio uh, for, for the skills and tags, also for the slides, you can change everything here. So this is just uh, another option to make uh, everything smoother uh, with the same theme. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.